Ah, okay, uh, first one, this is the first class assignment, which is basically uh, calculating statistical uh, reverberation time. So I will make a, a room with 100 feet and 100 feet by uh, 60 feet. So I just start box and I type 0 as you see here and enter. So you start from 0, I type 100 feet, enter, 100 feet, enter, and 60 feet. And I'll type Z and E to see extended view here. And also this one, G and E. Also here, a Z enter, E enter. And this one, G enter, E enter. So I just quickly draw a uh, stage. So I'll draw at the corner here, uh, roughly 20 feet and about 100 feet. And maybe height is 3 feet. So this is my stage. Now I'm going to draw a sitting area. So from side view, I just I just draw approximately uh, with just eyeballing. So this is probably um, something look like this. You don't. It does not need to be precise. And select it. I type extrude x through the CRB extrude curve and enter. And then I just click and make sure that your solid is yes. If I double click it, this one will be no. Actually, it will not have any surface around it. Uh, make sure that your solid is yes, and then I will kind of extrude it uh, to the uh, to the end of it. And then probably I will add a simple reflector, maybe one or two. So I add one reflector. I just draw a line. Uh, maybe another reflector here. Maybe another reflector, probably. And I select every all line, and I also extrude curve and enter and then probably I'll draw till here and I also want to draw a, a side reflector so in the top view a ton of object snap so I just simply draw a reflector here maybe another reflector here and probably another reflector here and the location I'll a little bit move it as so I kind of move it a uh, little bit, little bit back sideway, and then I also extrude the curve and enter, and then I'll move it up to the top, the ceiling. So here's my side reflector, and I will select these three, and then I'll using mirror function, and then by using midpoint I will mirror it. So this is actually my side reflector and so this is ready so now i will export these geometries into ecotag but before doing that always make sure that uh, go to tool option change your unit from inches to millimeters because ecotag only accepts millimeters unit so i just okay say okay and it will scale by 25.4 and yes so this is our model so i select these and then export selected and I'll say this one is test room and I save as 3D studio as and save it and I don't have any curves so I can use fewer polygons here and OK and in echo tag I will import it so import 3D cat geometry I select test room and open and then I'll import into existing so this one is our geometry now let's use top view. I'll right click this one, display setting on the right side, and click top view. And I'll measure the distance to make sure that this one to the end is 100 feet. You see that? So now I'm sure that this one is right scale. The first one is actually calculating um, statistical, re statistical reverberation. Go to analysis and go to reverberation time to say OK. Currently, volume is zero, and any the sitting is zero. So this one is uh, the dimension is 100 feet by 100 feet by 60 feet. So the total volume is about six 600,000 cubic feet, cubic foot, and actually this one is actually six 17,000 uh, cubic meters. So I type here 17,000, and roughly I'll just use 10% of sitting, about 170. And then I'll just recalculate. So actually, the range is here, which is 
uh, reverberation time is unnecessarily long. Well, this is what does it mean and our ideal zone is actually here underneath. So this is your first assignment that showing this graph using make sure that you type here a volume uh, let's say increase double and calculate so that's, this one is actually better than that so actually meaning that I can add more people so calculate it that's what, this is kind of I think the limitation so take a screenshot of this one and upload it this one is our first assignment okay thank you